good. Just give him a little while. They really didn't practice. This is Newsline with your anchors, Johnson O'Houlihan and Jose Chapman. With your weather, Will Weatherman. With your sports, Oz Guatemala. And with your traffic, Jack Steisenhower. Hello, and welcome to Newsline. I'm your anchor, Johnson O'Houlihan, here with my co-anchor, Jose Chapman. And here, we're going to bring you your top stories and local stories for today. In today's top stories, we have a kangaroo escaping from the Tampa Bay Wildlife Zoo. Just hopping along, was he? Seriously, and he went into a neighborhood with a uh, local, local woman, uh, Sarah Chapman, is there, and she uh, said that the kangaroo was just hopping along all day. Sarah Chapman? I have no idea why. That's my niece. They uh, ended ironic. up tranquilizing the kangaroo and bringing it back to the Tampa Bay Zoo. In top stories in Australia, we have this here. Uh, a herd of wild hippos have stormed the streets. Wild I saw that. Stuff I read that. On. I read that. Yeah. They also had to use tranquilizers to get the hippos back to their normal habitat. And with other news, the egg shortages lately have left the storeners to result to ostrich eggs. Wow. I heard they're like three pounds. Yeah. What an omelet. <laughs> what an omelet. And in other news, George Bush's results came back today from the lab, and he is illegally mentally retarded. Ironic. Very ironic. Very ironic. And now we're going to go to our weather with Will Weatherman. Oh, wacky Will. Hi, I'm Will Weatherman. Here's your Newsline weather report. Let's go to our local weather. There's a high pressure system in New York that's swooping down to Florida, which is going to cause it to be hot, 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 with a chance of rain. This weekend is going to have wacky weather. Now here is some of the wacky weekend weather. We're going to start off with a lot of rain. So break out your umbrellas. So we're going to be having some downpours in the later in this afternoon. For the first time in 40 years, Florida is going to be experiencing its first light snowfall. Later on that week, we're probably going to have a blizzard and hail. Yes, hail, folks. Hail. I can't believe this. Hail for the first time. Protect your cars and get your turtlenecks out. After the freak storm, Newsline's going to be going to the beach for an after party. So take out your sunglasses and break out your balls. That's the news for the day. So back to you. Thanks, Wacky Will. And now we're going to head over to Imitations with Giovanni. All right, welcome to my comedy segment where I invite all the celebrities that everybody loves. So my first guest today will be Mr. Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, I'm going to come up with a new movie, yeah. It's going to be a cover of all. Yeah, when I have a daughter and I, uh, I want to put more for you. All right, bye everyone. All right, so ne our next guest will be from our Family Guy cartoon, Herbert, the creepy old guy. Hello everybody, it's me, Herbert. How are you kids doing? What's wrong? I don't know. I have to check something on the internet. Bye. Call me soon. Alright, so, and other our famous segment, someone we haven't seen like couple in the last three years, and came out with a new CD called Thriller 25. It's my call. Hello everybody, it's me, Michael. I have a, I miss you everybody. I come back with a new CD, it's called 325, where I'm going to have all my best new tapes. Alright, dear children, I hope you enjoy. Chuck, chuck, chuck. <laughs> okay, um, Alright, I'm going to introduce another beloved character for everyone. Our journalist, all the way from Kazakhstan, Borat. I, I buy everyone, it's, it's Kine, my name is Borat, I give everyone, I love America, uh, I really love my experience in America, I work cross country, I met in York, I tried to talk to Pamela Anderson, I grew some fat guy, I grew some fat guy, and I introduced technology to Kazakhstan, oh, greatest country in the world, uh, Ashka baby everyone. 
Oh, Ashkab everyone, I'm back to you guys at the studio. I vibe. <laughs> Thanks, G-Baby. And back to the news stories. And one of our top stories, we have a blimp that took off in Tennessee. And apparently it never came down. It's still floating. Isn't that wild? <laughs> it is. It's one of those Goodyear bl blimps. It's just, it's just wild yeah, how, it's, how it can stay Those ones there. that go around the racetrack? Yes. <sighs> apparently they're all starving to death right now. I need to get someone up there. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And then other news, Paris Hilton has attempted to buy Paris, France. Wow, I wonder why. God knows with that girl. God knows. And with the traffic, we're gonna head over to our wacky traffic man. Thanks guys. Hi, I'm Jack Steisenhauer and here's what's happening with your traffic. There's a major crash on I-4 which is causing major backups. You might also try Taylor Road which will be backed up due to construction. And on the other side of town, I-95 is closed at the LPGA exit due to the deadly wildfires. They try to avoid those areas to help get to work on time. Back to you guys. That was green light gorgeous. In other news, we have a herd of wild flamingos. Whoa! Just storming Daytona Beach. Did you know that they turn pink from the shrimp that they eat? <laughs> They're not gonna find any. They're not gonna find any of those shrimp around here in Daytona. No siree. And back to our uh, our another story. We have um, a local teacher is uh, arrested today for beating a child for sneezing. Do you believe this, man? Do you believe this? The madness what out I there. What I would do. And now we're gonna head over to our sports. Aussie Guatemala. Hi, I'm Aussie Guatemala. Dear sports news. Authorities found 542 Cocker Spaniels buried in Michael Vick's backyard. He was sentenced for life in prison, so your dogs will be able to rest easy tonight. Lastly, nine more MLB players quit today. Field reporters asked why they quit. They just plainly said they were bored with the game. Now they all join the Canadian curling team. Now back to the news. Thanks, Ellis, for that great news report on the sports. And we're finished here on Newsline, so you have a great night. Thank you for joining us. I'm Johnson O'Houlihan. And I'm Jose Chapman. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.